That's an easy problem, guys. It says a cylindrical bucket. You can see that here. 32 centimeters in height. The height of this bucket is 32 centimeters. And the radius of the base is 18. So it means that radius is given as 18 centimeters. Beautiful. It is filled with sand. Now this whole bucket is filled with sand and the bucket has been emptied on the ground to form a conical heap of sand. All right. So we'll see what happening in the animation. I can see that this sand has been poured here and it forms a conical heap. Now what is the question? The question is if the height of the conical heap is 24 centimeters. It means this height here is talking about this height. So he says this height is like 24 centimeters. See, it's, it's still filling up. Now we can see, yes, it is coming up to, yeah, 24. So the height of this guy is 24. Let me cue it here. All right. Now, find the radius and the slant height of the heap. So we're looking for this radius and the slant height. Okay, if I see, he's talking about that radius basically here. And that's 36. That should be my answer. And the slant height is this guy, which is which we call to be L, which is 43.27. We're going to find these two things. We'll come back to this guys a little later. Well, let's build the logic of the problem here, guys. So the volume of the sand, which is in the form of conical heap, should be equal to the sand, which is there in the bucket. So he's talking about this guy. Look at this. This was the sand. And the volume of the sand was 325, 72.03, which is exactly the same the amount of sand which is there in the conical form so that is a logic exactly so let's write that the volume of the sand in this so let me call this to be the cylinder volume of the cylinder should be equal to the volume of the cone right because the same sand has been poured here that is the logic of the problem guys so now how do you find the volume of the cylinder so we know the volume of the cylinder is given as pi times r squared times h so we should know what is r and h of the cylinder given to me h is 32 so we have this guy r is 18 we have this guy very simple now what is the volume of a cone that's to be 1 over 3 pi r squared h now what is r here so we're talking about the cone let me say r c and r h so h is given to me uh, let me take it as capital h itself because i'm taking the same thing here so capital h here is 24 i don't know what is r my question is find the radius and the slant height. So anyway, I don't have the slant height in the formula, but I can still find R. Why is that? Because I have everything else here and the logic is also there. So in the volume of this is equal to the volume of this, I can fix it up. So that's given to me. Let me substitute the values here. I have pi, which I will not substitute. And R is nothing but 18. So I'll write 18 squared times edge of the cylinder is 32. That should be equal to 1 over 3 times pi, will not substitute, r is what I'm looking for, keep it like that, and h is nothing but 24. Now, can we solve this? See, we can cancel this guy, and I can write 3 once and 3 8 times, right? 8 once and 8 4. So that's what you have. You do have 18 squared times 4 is equal to r squared it's all this thing without making it complicated so it's right that r squared is equal to 18 squared can be nice 18 into 18 into i can write 4 as 2 in a 2 all right when i have to find r i just need to write the square of these guys that is 18 times 18 into 2 into 2 now i can see that these two guys will come out as 118 and these two guys will group up to be 1 so the answer in the 18 times 2 which is 36 so r is nothing but 36 so we didn't have to multiply it and make it complicated we can actually do it like this beautiful so we got r that is nothing but this thing is r which is 36 and actually we can now substitute that here i can see this is the r i'm talking about okay that is r 36 all right keep it aside so r is 36 we found this we need to still find what is L. Find the slant height, which is this length is talking about. Now we, we can see a right angle triangle here where this is nothing but edge and that is nothing but radius and that is L for me. And I can use Pythagoras theorem here. Let me take it as A, B and C. So we can write AC squared. AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. That's simple Pythagoras theorem. And I know that AB is nothing but H, so I can write this as to be H squared plus BC is nothing but R squared. We have this. And that is nothing but AC. And we can write AC squared or just like L squared is equal to H squared plus 
r squared where l is slant height so what is l that is the square of h squared h we already have that is 24 squared plus i can write r is nothing but 36 squared so in this you should give the answer to be simply this much it will be 43.27 you can actually solve this guy and check finally well l guys just square up uh, 24 that should be like 576 plus squaring 36 you do get 1296 and this up you should get rule of 1872 take the square of this that should be 43.27 centimeters that is the slant height of the cone here that's all about guys